And Jacob Rees-Mogg, it's quite a long name on its own, is with us now. Welcome back to the Daily Politics. What does this word mean? The actual habit of estimating as worthless. Estimating something as worthless. Yes. And what was the word? Just can, remind me. Can you give me the Latin derivation? Oh, well, uh, no, not offhand. Can't you? Why not? You use you, words and you can't give the proper derivation? derivation well, I don't always have to give the etymology of word. every word I use, but I can pronounce it. I mean, it comes, have... everyone knows it comes from flocai, meaning a whisper, a piece of wool, nokai, meaning a trifle, uh, and uh, pilai, nothing, yeah, nilai means a nothing, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a pilai, meaning a hair or something insignificant. I mean, it could have been uh, flossio, non facio. What does that mean? I couldn't give a straw. That's the literal interpretation. I know, yes. If you were being rude, you might say I couldn't give a damn, but I wouldn't be Why so rude. Why didn't you rude use on. the smaller one rather than the longer one? I didn't think of it, actually. Mm. Um, Floxy Noggy Nihilopilification came to mind, as it does from time to time. Does it often come to your mind? It's one of those words I've known since I was a schoolboy. When, when, when it comes to your mind, is there room for anything else in your mind? Lots, and particularly pointing out that what we are wanting to indulge in the floxy knock in the of, ah, which is there. the European Court of Justice, hmm? which is the key point. That the Not the judges, European Court in Strasbourg? No. The one in Luxembourg? The ECJ ruled to their own benefit that the pay rises of European officials had to go through, and that included their own pay. And this is against one of the most important principles of justice, that you should not be a judge in your own cause. And thankfully, using this odd word has got some attention to that tremendously important point of corruption in the law courts of Europe. And but, it's, it's okay, very important that point, to get that point You've made it in the cross. Commons, you've made it again. Huh? The big issue, I want to uh, if, know if it was resolved, did the hands out people have to ask you to spell it? No, Hansard are fantastic, as, as Quentin Letts was saying. I find they improve my speeches. They take out the arms and R's, mm. and they make what one was saying better sense and flow okay. more elegantly. Now, you spoke at this Tory dinner last night, didn't you? I did, yes. Where, where was it? It was um, just the other side of Lambeth Bridge. Right. And uh, wh whereabouts on Lambeth Bridge? Just the other side of Lambeth just Bridge. The other There's side. a Plaza Hotel. Plaza Hotel, right. Um, you spoke as a new MP. I did, yes. What was your message? My message was that the Conservatives are wonderful and the Liberals aren't quite as good. So it was quite controversial with the audience. Really then. controversial. It was a hard-hitting, tough message. Are you expecting promotion immediately afterwards? Uh, no, I don't think that will follow. Why aren't you in the government? Um, because I'm backbencher, which I love being, representing uh, yeah. the county of Somerset. Who could ask to do anything more than that? Your favourite word, how many more letters does it have than anti-disestablishmentarianism? One is the correct answer. <laughs> you can indulge in the flossy in the hill of vilification of the anti-disestablishmentarianists if you want, but that might be showing off.